like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. This should not be happening because I'm not broke. Oh, I'm broke, but I'm not broke. Like, my car should not be declining. <laughs> welcome back to my channel did you guys miss me because i miss all of you so quick disclaimer i if you see me talking weirdly throughout this video it's because i just had a root canal and my mouth kind of hurts to like open and talk hey besties so i was editing the video and i realized how little energy i had and i was like ew that's disgusting i need to give my subscribers more and if you're not subscribed you should be subscribed but anyway <laughs> Um, I'm at the park right now. I was working out. I have my little resistance band on and then I also have this Pilates bar by We Love Fit. I got it on Amazon. Sponsor me. Okay, just kidding. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys a better intro than the one that was in the video because I gave a disclaimer. My mouth was hurting because I just, I literally had to look out like either the day before that or something like that and work with me. I'm Nikayla, and you're watching Ro and Nikayla. Anyway, this is the first time that you are ever seeing my face. Hello, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, and if you are a returning subscriber, hello, nice to see you. Welcome back. Video, we will be turning $10 jeans into $100 jeans. So if you're interested in how I do that, make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video because I'm going to give you a little tutorial and it's gonna be super cute and then we're just basically we just want to upcycle our entire closet how fun is it to buy something so cheap and make it look expensive if you guys watched my last video or if you didn't watch it go watch it right now here's the thumbnail and then um it'll be linked in the description below but i was getting a lot of comments on where did i get those pants from how i made those pants blah 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 these are some of the comments if you don't believe me you should go check the video and go check the comments out because they were really there i didn't just make them up <laughs> so i am going to make those jeans again today for somebody else and so this video is going to be about me making those jeans i'm currently sitting in the parking lot at walmart i have to get some stuff here and then i'm also going to go to the fabric store because i want to get some like more denim to make the patches if that makes sense um so you guys are gonna come along with me and i'm really not sure i want to make something else but i'm not really sure what that is going to be right now but when i go into the fabric store it's going to come to me but the whole point of this video is us making our own wardrobe because these prices for clothing is getting out of hand and you can literally just make something that you want that you like seen and like say you see something and it's 500 dollars. who has this type of money not me so you can literally just make it so that's what we're gonna be doing today um so i'm gonna stop talking because my mouth is starting to hurt a little bit but make sure you like comment share and subscribe before this video even starts because this is gonna be an amazing video the most amazingest video you have ever seen before um yeah like i said my mouth is hurting so like comment share and subscribe and we're going to go inside the store Hey Bessie, sorry to interrupt our regularly scheduled program, but I'm coming to you with a very important question I had to stop the video for. Um, why aren't you subscribed yet? Yes, that is the question. <laughs> why aren't you subscribed? I'm going to pause and give you some time to subscribe to the channel because I know you're loving the video so far. I know you're going to love it even more towards the end. So, let's give you some time real fast so you can subscribe, okay? I'm gonna sing for you I think what I was on to you Would you cry or would you try to get me? I will wait for me now I will wait You should be subscribed now So now we're going to get back into the video Deuces Okay, so I'm back from inside the store and that was a very 
overwhelming experience i don't know what for but it was just a lot in there like it was really crowded and none of the workers were like around um because they were having a meeting in the middle of the floor like why are you having a meeting in the middle of the floor you don't have a a back room for that or something like it was just a lot why well, i needed the workers because i kept swiping my card and it was declining and i'm like wait a minute <laughs> Wait a minute, this should not be happening because I'm not broke. Oh, I'm broke, but I'm not broke. Like, my car should not be declining. Ha ha! Bankrupt. Like, like, no money on my car. Go and put it in there. Stick it in. I look glad. Stick it in. Stick it in. And it kept saying C register, red C worker. And I'm just, they're in the middle of the floor having a meeting. How am I going to see them? They're, they look like they're busy, too busy to help. But finally, it worked. And I was like, okay, good. Let me get out of here. But on the plus side, I got a lot of stuff. And it only came to $30. Okay. So, um,. You need to go to Walmart and start shopping. I, I I feel like most of my clothes are either like really cheap and I make it look more expensive um, with like accessorizing or I like make my own clothes, which is my goal. Like I want my, my wardrobe one day to just be all my clothes that I'm wearing that I made. I'm going to insert a couple videos on the screen of like stuff that I made before and I like turned them into TikToks and yeah. So here they are right now. like a quick haul for you guys i got these jeans like i said i wanted more denim so i can make the patch pants so bought some denim i'm also gonna go to the thrift store um a little later i was gonna go to the fabric store to get denim but i'm thinking like i can literally just go to the thrift store and get some some cheap jeans for like a dollar that i can just cut up um i got these two tank tops because i was like I didn't even realize the color scheme that was going on here with gender reveal. But anyway, um, that's besides the point. I just bought these two colors. I thought they were cute colors. And I'm going to make something out of these shirts. Um, and then I got so much like sewing stuff for so cheap. I got fabric glue. If you are watching this video and you're not that good at sewing and you want to just or you want to just get something done really quickly instead of having to sew it use fabric glue like fabric glue really works um i'm gonna i can't think of anything that i've used fabric glue on recently but if i have i'm gonna enter the picture over here but it really works in this alternative to sewing i got some thread a dollar and at michael's this big thread would be like three dollars i got some hemming tape and i i've never used it before but i've seen some of my clothes that i've had used it before like i have these jeans that have this on it so i was like why not try it i also got all of this thread which is like an assortment of threads it has a bunch of different colors in it um i got this for also a dollar and and it comes with needles and it also comes with i believe this is called a, um like this thing down here it's called i don't know what it's called wait a needle threader <laughs> i was just about to say i don't know what it's called but you use a thread needle though it's a needle threader but all of that a dollar and then I also got these pink bandanas and this gray fabric. I'm thinking of making a puffer purse with this. That would be really cute and it can also go with this top. So let's see if this all comes together. Um, if it does, then great. <laughs> and that is my little Walmart haul. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if I really have to go to um if I really have to go to a fabric store today, it's not necessary for me to make the jeans. Two hours later. So I decided I am just going to go home, actually. Um, because, one, because I feel like this drive home is going to stress me out. Um, two, my mouth is starting to hurt, so I'm going to go back in the house. And three, I want to get started on the jeans, so but we're going to do that now.
So before I get started actually making jeans, I take a bunch of the scraps that I already have and then I start making different patches um, that I want to use for the jeans. I just cut out random things that I think will look cool. Here I have this cute heart outline that I might use, but I'm not quite sure yet, so we'll see. Um, now you see me like just playing around with different designs and where I want the patches to go before I actually sew them down. I already started sewing and I pinned down the patches that I knew I wanted in that specific spot and when I make my patch jeans I usually use I usually use the third stitch because if you look at the diagram the third stitch um, right here it kind of go it goes forward and then it goes back and forward again so it kind of helps so you don't have to keep uh, doing the back stitch it does it for you I'm currently closing the jeans back up after opening the seams and I do feel like this is very important because you don't want your seams to just open up when somebody or you are wearing them so make sure that you're securing the seams really good. And then since I don't have a serger for this like white line that you kind of see here, um, to mimic that I use the... I use the 8th stitch for number 19 to close it up like how a surgery would normally do that. Earlier I said I bought this liquid stitch so I wanted to use it right where the pocket is and it worked really well um, to fray the ends. I know there's a lot of different ways but I like to just use the seam wrapper and kind of like scratch the ends. And here is the final product. I think they came out so cool and now I'm going to deliver them so stay tuned. So I am delivering the jeans, finally, I finally finished them, and this is how they turned out. So like I said, yes, of course the audio cuts out as soon as we're about to get my friend's reaction, but this is my friend Thomas, and um, as you can see him coming down the stairs, his shirt says sleeves on it, and that's his personal brand, so I wanted to incorporate that into the pants, which, which um, here's his reaction right now, you can't hear it, but he screamed, <laughs> and then, yeah. You know what's crazy? What? I was finna ask you like, and I was like, damn, I done forgot to ask her to put the sleeves and you done did it anyway. Yeah. Branding. <laughs> and it matches with your shirt. I tried to make it like, you know how it's like, like yeah. that. Oh, it's hot as <laughs> It is. It's yeah. 80, what is it? 85 degrees. <laughs> You're sweating. Yeah. How do you feel about the jeans? I feel great. To be honest, I didn't expect them to come out this way. Don't mind the sweat, guys. You feel me? It's hot as hell. But I didn't expect them to come out this way. I really specifically requested the heart. Mm -hmm. And Michaela blessed me with the... You feel me? I requested this. Mm -hmm. But she definitely blessed me with this. You feel me? Real close to my heart. Yeah. 